please give a warm welcome to Mr. Michael Altshuler. Come on up stage. We know that we're human beings. We're not human doings. So we have to be more before we do more, before we have more. There's three things that the top achievers, the elite, the world class do. Number one, they have what's called a growth mindset. Number two, they have a belief system that supports their goals and dreams that's pretty much void of self-limiting beliefs. And number three, they've mastered their self-talk. I know you're just in a trance right now, I understand. Your why has to be great enough, compelling enough, to push you to do the things that you're uncomfortable doing. You have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Let me repeat that. You have to be comfortable being uncomfortable because stretching and reaching beyond your comfort zone, which is what you need to do to go from where your numbers were in 2017 to where you want them to be in 2018, is going to take more effort. It's going to take some sacrifice. And it's going to cause you to stretch outside of your comfort zone to get better. The greater your why, the greater your try. What's the, you know, 60 years old, I don't have a lot of time to do that. And he says, you'll be sitting in that corner desk back there. This is humbling. And when I tell you folks, I wanted to hear every nuance in David's voice, every word he said, every word he said and the way he said it, that's truly what I wanted. Because when I left his office, all I wanted to be was a mini David. This gentleman, Marty Seligman, is one of the top behavioral psychologists in the world. He works with Dr. Carol Dweck, who I spoke of earlier, who wrote the groundbreaking book, Mindset. He did a long-term study on success, and the results were amazing. He said that persistence and resilience were twice as important to success as talent and IQ which in my case is a very good thing. I wasn't the sharpest tool in the tool chest. So persistence and resilience are twice as important to success as talent and IQ. What that means is that the ability to get up, brush yourself off, and keep going, that's what, what matters. Two-thirds of our success is doing exactly that. We're in the business of what? Rejection. We get told no more than we get told yes. 1997. I picked my son Kyle up from school. I said, what do you want to do, Kyle? He says, Daddy, I want to go to the store to look at some Beanie Babies. Raise your hand if you remember Beanie Babies. Remember Beanie Babies? It ended up being the largest plush category toy business, a billion dollars. I brought the duck just to tie it in a little bit. It's not an Affleck duck. So I said, Kyle, you want to go to the store to look at Beanie Babies? He said, yeah. That's a come on, ladies and gentlemen. Kids don't go just to to browse. He wanted me to buy the Beanie Babies. So I go in the store. I fall for it, right? I go in the store and he walks right past a basket filled with three and four dollar Beanie Babies. He goes right to the front counter. Behind the front counter in a beautiful glass enclosure are six Beanie Babies. I know these are not the three and four dollar Beanie Babies. And so does he. He says, excuse me, ma'am, may I see that Beanie Baby in the middle? She takes it down. He says, what's this Beanie Baby's name? They all had names. And she tells him, I'm totally out of control of this situation. Totally. He says, how much? She said, $65. <laughs> the shark was ready to attack. Close number one. My son, Kyle, looks up at me with his adoring eyes. And he says, Daddy, if you love me, you'll buy me that Beanie Baby. I got down at his level. I said, Kyle, Daddy loves you with all his heart, but forget it. I'm not spending $65 on a Beanie Baby. Forget it. It's not happening. We walked two feet away from the front counter, close number two right there. He does what melts every single parent. And if you've been blessed with children, Nieces, nephews, or have you ever seen this? It's the most special thing that could happen to a parent. He wraps his tender little arms around my leg. Again, he adoringly looks up at me and he says, Daddy, I love you so much. 
won't you please buy me that Beanie Baby? I call this the tug at the heartstrings clothes. I recommend it for you and your clients all except the part around the legs. They may find that a little awkward, but people buy from emotion, not logic. So I looked at him, I said, Kyle, daddy loves you with all his heart, son, but I'm not spending $65 on a Beanie Baby, forget it. So we make our way to the middle of the store, we get to the middle of the store, he breaks free of my hand, he starts stomping his feet hysterically saying, buy me the Beanie Baby, buy me the Beanie Baby. I call this the make the scene clothes. We've seen kids have temper tantrums, right? They know intuitively that the embarrassment of the scene they're making, that will, you'll cave in, you'll buy it, right? So I, I look at him, I said, Kyle, stop the behavior right now. It's not going to work. I'm not buying you that Beanie Baby. Realizing that was ineffective, he stopped the behavior right away. I'm thinking pretty impressive. We get three quarters of the way out the store. I can see the door in the distance. <laughs> this is like scoring a winning touchdown in the Super Bowl at this point for me. We get there. He stops again where he was at. And he looks at me and he says, Daddy... Do you know why that Beanie Baby was $65? It's retired. They're not making any more of those, Daddy. It's going to go up in value, and it's an investment. <laughs> He's value selling me. How is this kid doing this? I look at him and I say, Kyle, it's not the type of investment that Daddy wants to make right now. I'm not buying you the Beanie Baby. I am really, really impress impressed with this closing exhibition. So then... I grab him really firmly by the hand now. We're close to the door, and he breaks free of my hand, and he plasters himself against the wall. I said, what am I in for here? And he looks at me and says, Daddy, I am not budging an inch until you buy me the Beanie Baby. I call this the physical action clothes, that you have to physically remove someone or pre prevent someone that's doing something physically to prevent the sale from hap happening. I, I peeled him off the wall, threw him over my shoulder, like a potato sack, gently of course, <laughs> and started making my way out the door. I get out the door, home free, and I go to step off the curb. And he taps me on the shoulder. And he says, Daddy, you know what next month is. I said, no, Kyle, what's next month? He said, next month is my birthday. And the best birthday present you could ever buy me in the whole wide world. And the only one I want, Daddy, is that Beanie Baby. And it's retired and they're not making any more. I love you so much. And if you love me, Daddy, Daddy, and he's merging all these clothes together, won't you please buy me the best birthday present in the world? Won't you do it, Daddy? I looked at him and I said, Kyle, I'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> and I walked... I walk back in the store. My son will appreciate that when he watches it on video. I walk back in the store. I say to the lady behind the counter, I can't even look her in the eye at this point, that my seven-year-old, yeah, I'll take that one in the middle that I said I wouldn't buy six times. Yeah, that's the one I'll take. We walk out. I put him in his car seat. I look him in the eye. And I say, Kyle, always remember what just took place. That if you want something so bad in your life, and you continue to try and try and never give up, and you try different things to get that desired result, you'll be so, so successful. But don't try this on Dad anymore. I teach this stuff. I know what you're up to. A hundred dollar bill to make this point. What do you think about that? Make some noise. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Wait. What, what's, okay. Wait, I like that. How about if I do this to it, though? Regardless of whatever happens to you in your life, you will never, ever lose any value. Your creator made you priceless. Who wants it? Come on up on stage. 60,000 thoughts go through our mind every single day. 60,000 thoughts, 65% of which are negative. 
Just to give you some sense of how many thoughts that is, that's four full-length movies going through your head every day. And most people don't think about what they're thinking about. And that's dangerous. Frank Outlaw said this about thoughts. He said, watch your thoughts, they become words. Watch your words, they become action. Watch your action, that becomes your habits. Watch your habits as that becomes your character. Watch your character as that becomes your destiny. All from your thoughts. Good try. I don't think he's given it up. Self-talk goes on in our head. You have an opportunity to make a difference in someone's life, in their family's life. If that sounds like you, stand up at your table. If you don't stand up at your table, what I need you to do, ma'am, I'm sorry, it has to be a guy. I don't want you to get hurt, but I love it. I love it. And it's not, I love it. How you doing, right? Okay. Okay. That self-talk, the longer we hold on to it, it's going to affect every call we make to a client. Anthony knows I'm a thoughtful speaker, and he's going to have some pain tomorrow in his shoulder and his back. So I got him a tube of Ben Gay. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you. I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on her tombstone from the beginning to the end. He noticed it first came her date of birth and spoke the second date with tears, but said that what mattered most of all was that dash between those years. For that dash represents all the time that she spent alive on earth, and now only those who loved her know what that little line is worth. So when you make 2018 your best year yet, bring your fellow AFLAC team members with you. Cross that finish line victoriously with them. Because after all, there's only one AFLAC nation. Unified, triumphant, victorious. This is your destiny. This is your dash. Embrace it. Treasure it. And live it. God bless you all and thank you. Thank you.